water shortage and water pollution caused by high saline and nitrite concentration in groundwater supplies are among the biggest crises facing Palestinians in the besieged Gaza Strip. Gaza residents obtain their drinking water from the desalination stations. In some remote areas, wells are dug by humanitarian projects where residents can get water free of charge. Those who can afford to buy fresh drinkable water buy it from supermarkets or from private vehicles selling water. The water we get from the tap is salty and unhygienic. That's why we buy drinking water from desalination plants and vehicles selling water. Salty water causes skin and kidney diseases. The sole of fresh water source is the coastal aquifer, which depends on rainfall and provides 96% of overall water consumed in the Gaza Strip. According to Coastal Municipalities Water Utility, Israelis have huge pumping stations dug all around the Gaza Strip diverting water before it reaches the aquifer of the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, as Israeli officials say, Israel's water supply faces the worst crisis in 80 years. The prolonged Israeli siege has brought Gaza water industry to stand still. Water infrastructures are in desperate need of upgrade. But due to the closure of all border crossings, Gazans cannot get the required materials to do so. We need every spare parts for every facilities. We have around 20, we have 250 generators that need maintenance and repair because you know the problem of power cutoffs. We also had faced another problems of the chemicals entries. I'm not talking about chlorine, but there are other chemicals which we use for the treatment of water. Water specialists say that 85% of drinking water wells in Gaza are not suitable for drinking due to high salinity. Moreover, due to the recent Israeli three-week-long offensive, three water wells and some of the water infrastructure, such as pipes, have been destroyed. CMW, the Coastal Municipalities Water Utility, has got uh, uh, an assessment survey for all these damages occurred. And what we found, we found, uh, you know, damages is about, of about six million dollars. There are about 150 water wells for human use and tens of water wells for agricultural irrigation throughout the coastal strip. Given the seriousness of the Gaza water crisis, experts say this crisis threatens Palestinians' well-being, just as bombs from the Israeli military occupation forces do. Yusuf Al-Halo, Press TV, Gaza.